Happy Tuesday. Thank you for joining me here tonight. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish, where we make lovely and quirky hand embroidery kits. And I am here every weeknight at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That's 9.30 Eastern and 6.30 Pacific. Uh, it's a time that we can relax and craft together for about an hour. And I work on projects all the way through from beginning to end. So you can be part of the whole process and ask your questions along the way. And just come and hang out with me in the evening here. Uh, we are working on the Betts White Spooky Clock Tower. And look, it's glued. Uh, we got a, a few more steps here tonight. But check it out. The glue held. Uh, it's all... Um, just looking super cute. These guys turned out, these little support dudes turned out so darling. I am freaking loving it. And look, we can even put a little, uh, a little flashy light in there. There we go. <laughs> I am just so excited for it. So we have a few more steps tonight, but I think we'll get pretty near finishing, if not finishing, tonight. So uh, I'm, I'm super stoked with how it's turning out. I'll show you a picture of the uh, full thing again, um, just so you can see kind of what the finished thing is of what we're making. And we'll continue on that tonight. So this is a part of the Lil Felt Village make along that the designer Betts White is putting on right now. So we are in the Autumnville section of it. Uh, so that is the third kind of segment of this make-along. So there were three spring ones and three summer ones, and the last fall one was just released. So uh, we can look at that again as well. This is kind of the middle fall one. So if you decide uh, to purchase these patterns, uh, the, link are the link is below. All the spring and summer ones and now the autumn ones have been released already, so you can go back through all those. You'll get all those immediately. And then um, the winter ones have not been released yet. So those will uh, start coming up uh, over the rest of the year. So that's kind of the deal. They're kind of like those little um, ceramic villages, but you get to make your own out of felt, which is just, uh, it's been so fun. Uh, I've been smiling through this whole process here. Uh, so anyway, I will flip you around. I will show you uh, on teachable.com where the class is being held. Uh, what this is going to look like. Um, you can't go directly to teachable.com to find the class. You do have to get to a class through the the teacher. Uh, and I have a link here below if you wanted to check it out um, through through Betz's uh, system there. So, all right, I'm going to flip it around. Yeah, I'm excited to see if it gets finished tonight too, Jackie. All right, so I'm going to just scooch you to my iPad here. Uh, I... It's, it's not actually an app, it's a website, so I'm just looking at it on the website right now. So here's ours. Uh, all we have left is to deal with um, that roof and these little spiky spikes on top. I think that's all we need to do yet. Uh, so here is what it looks like. Uh, I, obviously, I've done mine in a burgundy color here versus the purple. So this is... This is the second one from the Autumnville. And just to like recap, uh, here, is, here is the first one from Autumnville. She's kind of, uh, Betts has kind of set it up as um, four seasons worth. So here's the first one, look how cute. Oh my God, a little schoolhouse. That's just, <laughs> I don't know. I almost, I think I might have to make that one. It is just so cute. I think I might have enough I think I talked about this already, but I think I might have enough colors with this one. I could do a burgundy one again, even though I like a really bright red, but I have a burgundy, so that would be kind of fun. Okay, so that is the schoolhouse. And then the new one that was just released is the Woodland Cottage, which, oh, there it is. Oh my God, it's so sweet. So that one has some little fringe thatched roofs. Oh, and look, we have little, like, little cross-stitch bits holding it together. That's adorable. So this is the new one. I think this was released, this one had just been released yesterday. Um, yeah, so this is fresh, fresh. I like this little, little bump out here. Um, it looks like it has the windows that glow again. So it looks like you can use a lot of the same supplies and everything. Um, but that's, that's the new one. 
And uh, uh, right now, just the uh, templates and uh, materials, the cutting instructions have been released. So uh, Betts releases the um, process over time too, uh, like by, by week. So first we got the cutting instructions with all the templates and we had to cut out like our Peltex, that's that sturdy bit, and we cut out the felt. Uh, that was enough for a week for sure. Uh, you know, you can sit down and do it all in one, one bat, but for us just doing it an hour a day, that, that worked well. And then uh, I believe embroidery is next, probably, and then the assembly. Um, so anyway, that's the new one. Uh, I'm going to jump back where we left off uh, on the, uh, okay, we, we uh, finished this part. That's where we glued the whole thing together. Uh, I can hit complete and continue. That will check off my progress bar. <laughs> I'm only at 18% because I've only done this one um, this one uh, uh, village. I haven't done any of the other houses. Okay, assembling the roof. All right, we've already done some of this, right? Because we, oh, did we stitch it together yet? Oh, I don't think we did. So I have to stitch together this little edge. Um, you know, yesterday we were, we were stitching these up just so that it stayed, oops, just so that they stayed um, kind of shut. And then we kind of hid the little white area. Actually, it's not so bad in this one. I kind of got pretty close. You know what, I think I might skip it for this one because I'm really close right here. And I mean, here you can kind of see it, the white, but I don't think, I, I stitched I stitched my um, stitches so close to the edge that I don't, I can't really grab on anything. And so I think I might just put that to the back and, and call that one done. Um, yeah, I think, I don't think I'm gonna stitch that up. So we're gonna move on to the gluing. So we're gonna glue the top edge of the roof and then I gotta get this dude to stay on there. So that'll be interesting because mine's a little curvy here. We'll try and get it more square. Ooh, and then we gotta do um, that fun bit too. So hopefully I can do that all while this is drying. Um, all right, let's, let's do that. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna flip you guys around and let's uh, start gluing this. Okay, so I'm reading as well that um, bets for this used a stiffener for the felt. So I'm not sure what that is. She used Eileen's Stiffen Quick. You can spray it right on the felt piece and let it dry. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so there are fabric stiffeners that you can use. Um, I'm gonna go without because I don't I don't have any of those. I wonder if that's just like a starch. Um, do any, have any of you guys used that before? Eileen's Stiffen Quick. I think maybe this is small enough that, that we won't need it. I mean, you know, we risk it like flapping down or, or like that, but, um, I don't know. I think this felt is thick enough that it can, it can handle it. Oh my God, that's gonna look so cute. <laughs> All right, let's, um, let's see if there's any other instructions here. Well, I'm skipping ahead. Let's start with with this. So I'm just going to kind of squish this a little bit so maybe it'll stay a little bit more square and not, not poof out. I think it's helping it a little bit. I'm kind of creasing, creasing it. Maybe we've got a little bend here. All right, I think that's a little bit more square. Hopefully it's, I think once we get this on it'll be we can squish it. So it did, it did dry clear. So I'm happy about that. It has like a little gloss to it. So here I was wondering yesterday how it was going to dry. So it is clear. You can kind of see the edge a little bit, but you know, I don't think that's going to matter much. All right. <laughs> I like pulling that glue off. I didn't really need to do it. Um, okay. So let's get this going. Yeah. I would get the larger, larger glue. Oh gosh, there we go. I can feel like there's a ton in here yet. It's just uh, getting it to do its job here. Start here. This little bit. Oh, it's 66 in Atlanta. That's winter for you. Well, that's nice. 
It was, uh, I think, 40s here today. It was actually pretty nice out. A little breezy. All right. There we go. Cover that up. All right. Let's um, just lay this on top. So I think this is a hair smaller than my glue. So I'm just going to squish it a little. Squish it in a bit. Okay, and I think that's kind of the best we're going to do here. I don't want to smear it too much. Maybe I can just stick a fingernail and get rid of some of the globs. It does dry clear, so that's good. All right. So I'm wondering if maybe I should just let this sit for a while before the, doing the next part. I'm going to just read the instructions. So place the rooftop on the roof, pr plus pressing it gently into the glue. Okay, the last part of the roof is the roof spikes. Okay, that's where it's the stiffener. Um, okay, start by folding the roof spikes along the lines indicated on the template and lightly press them. Oh, so this will give it corners. Okay, so uh, we can do a little bit of pressing. So while while I'm doing that, I'm gonna throw my little weight on top here. Squish the edges in and we'll just let that sit for a little and let's uh, do this. So um, along these edges, uh, I'm going to just fold like this and we will press those so those end up being like little uh, corner spikes like that. So let's start there. While uh, my my roof dries a hair. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of let's see. We should probably start from the farthest away one. So my my. Um, iron is heating up a bit, but I want to kind of crease it to make sure it's in the kind of the right spot. Okay, and I'm going to read ahead really quick here. So we're going to put glue on the edges. Oh, and then we just stick this up on the top. Okay. I think I get the rest of it just fine. All right. Just adding a little bit of heat on the end here. Oh, dang, it's 82 by you in Australia. Yeah, you're getting the fun weather now. <laughs> I, I like when it gets warmer and warmer. There we go. That's kind of cute. It maybe didn't go all the way to the top, but I think just that nice base uh, or that, that fold at the base is, is nice. So, all right, I'm going to do a little one like just go down the row here I guess this does have a nice little edge to it I like it okay that's two that's pretty cute Just a hair. What would that be? That's a good question. So, um, I would assume it would be H A I R. So, what do you guys? What do you think in that context? Is it like if I'm just like, oh, I just need to move this a hair over? Um, is it hair like H A I R, like someone's on their head, or is it hair as in like a rabbit? I mean, I would assume it's like the hair on your head because you have just a tiny tiny little piece of hair so you're only moving it like just that tiny amount but I don't know maybe it does have something to do with <laughs> with rabbits I would just assume it's the hair on your head all right so next up okay you guys think h-a-i-r too so yeah hair on hair in the head 
because so thin. Yep, so that's that's my that's my assumption too. <laughs> Although sometimes you think something and you have a good explanation for it and then you realize, oh, it's totally origins are totally not that. Okay, so we are just kind of gluing this little edge, although having a tough time with uh, my glue now. Oh yeah, hair if you want it to move fast. There you go, Nora. Oh gosh, all right. We're going like this. I need two fingers apparently now to get this going. So I'm just getting the tiny edge here of felt because that is going to match up with them um, here. So I'm hoping they just hang out together there. <laughs> All right, so that's that's kind of glued. I'm just going to wait for it time to take care of that so let's uh what's the next part i think i have to flip this around and glue yeah i do so we are going to flip this over and i can't do it with i can't hold it and glue anymore because i don't have enough hands so let's um all right i am i'm going to scooch this guy towards me here um let's find the back just so i know where it is okay so this is the back one so i'm going to put um the seam of this one where it's the back i'm going to put this part, um, I'm going to match that up. So I'm going to point this towards me like this. I, I'm going to just flip this over like a table. Hopefully it holds. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, I'm going to keep this on here for now. So in theory, it's probably better to let all this dry before moving on the next step, but I want to do, I want to do it now. So again, I am just on the tiny little edge of this. Oh, and you are in my way. There we go. Concentrating. I'll smear um, it over a little bit so it's on all the edges. Get a little stuck there. And it's like full concentration mode now. Okay, I just want to get a few more dabs on here. Just spread it out just a bit. Ooh, all sorts of airplanes tonight. Must be a quiet night if you could hear them all. Okay, there we go. I think that looks beautiful. So here is that seamed end. Wow! All right, and here is the seamed one here. Oh, I should maybe just let this dry, but I'm just gonna let it dry a little pooped out. I think it'll be fine. All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's get this on here. Just on the edge. <laughs> this is cute. So I'm making sure I'm getting on the felt. Luckily, again, this does dry clear. Let's scooch this one over here. And it's really wet glue, so you do have, you know, time to putz with it. to put something heavy right in the middle there. I'm not sure I have it so like heavy enough for it to do much though. So we'll just let it kind of poop out of here. I think it's um, it's not gonna wreck the look and it's still gonna hold together because there's plenty of glue, glue on there. So I think we're gonna just let it be like this. All right, so that's the back, back edge there. So there we go. And all this, like, like I said, all this will be clear. So it'll blend right into this tower or this uh, platform, this black black platform here. Here's our little 
bit that we glued together. Let's spike that up. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that dry. <laughs> I'm not gonna do too much with that. I'm going to um, move ahead with the instructions. I suspect we might be done at this point. I might put some little details in, we'll see. Um, but that was the spikes. Place the glue the edge on the top, we did that. Okay, so complete and continue. There is another step here, so I wanna see what that is. Oh, there we go, okay. Oh, a base. I didn't think of a base. Do I have a base here? I must, right? Okay. Oh, cut a four inch piece of Peltex. Oh, okay. So we are at, this is an extra step here. So cut a four inch piece of Peltex for the base, mark and cut out a, a one and a half inch square hole on the center for the tea light. Okay. One and a half inch square hole. Oh. Okay, so we are, um, when dry, use a sharp scissors to trim away. Okay, so all we're doing here is we're just giving it a sturdy base, basically. So that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. Um, I gotta see if I have any Peltex laying around anymore, though. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I, I do. I'm gonna have to get up and get the Peltex. Um, but here we go. So I think this is just for keeping keeping its shape a little bit here. So um, so we're gonna just cut a square for the base, glue this down so it has a nice area to stay. We'll cut a hole in it though so we can fit, fit this guy in there um, so it fits over that still. But um, that's a good idea. Then you know you won't flip it up and see stuff and you won't like you won't be able to squish it or anything because it will be glued in place. So let's let's do that. I'm gonna go grab some Peltex. Uh, that'll give um, our other thing a little time to dry too. And we'll just check it out. Okay, so here is the Peltex. So um, we are going to be trimming it. So I'm actually not even gonna be too hard on the four inch square. I mean, I just grabbed this ruler because it happens to be here. So I guess maybe I am being um, picky about it. So let's, oh, here you go. Uh, let's just trim off a four inch square here. And then I want to um, cut that hole big enough. And I think I'll actually just maybe trace uh, the size I need based on this guy. I think I might just draw a circle in the middle here. That'd be kind of fun. And then I'll cut the circle a little bit bigger. So this will fit exactly on um, this little circle. I'll actually make it a hair bigger. But all right, let's trim this up. So I'm doing it with the Peltex towards the inside. Uh, just because I think it'll be nicer to have that soft, this soft like felt bit of it on the outside. All right, and then let's cut this hole. Oh, I didn't really center that, did I? Did I? Eh, it's fine. Oh, fun, Gus, that sounds amazing. All right, I'm going to trim, trim, trim. I am doing it a little bit bigger than this circle because I, I want it to be easy to put um, that candle in there. I just think the circle's kind of fun. Okay, maybe a lot bigger on that side. Go around a little bit more here. There, how about like that? Okay, so now once it's attached, I should just be able to put it over uh, my little candle like that. Okay, so let's just kind of squish this flat a little bit. And uh, um, now we are gonna put a pile of glue on the bottom here and then just try and 
form it. So I, I wanna, I'm gonna like push in the sides a little bit just so it's a little square. And then I'm gonna try and put, let's see if I can throw this on the top, um, you know, when that's done to give it a little bit extra pressure to keep it staying, but I don't know. You know what, maybe I can do, just cause I, I, the sides are poofing out, I could, uh, once it's glued, actually maybe I could do this now. I could kind of push in. <laughs> A little bit with these. There we go. Like so, it goes. It gets pushed in a little bit on all sides. That could work. Experimenting. Just want to see if that works in the front. It looks like it's kind of coming up a little bit. Yeah, that side. Yeah, this might still work. I might smear some glue around, but um, that's fine. So, all right, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let's, I think that's going to actually help us. I am going to think there's going to be glue everywhere, but um, I think this is going to work. So, all right, I'm going to get up real high here. So I flipped this over. Uh, let's see how much glue we have left. This is going to be just enough glue um, to finish this, finish the job here, I think. Oh, geez. And look, now I took the top off. Okay. So this um, we will trim, so technically we won't be done done because I'll need to trim the base off once this dries. It's hard to go forward or back to forward. I think we got it. Let's uh, let's flip it around. Okay, so I'm going to try and center it in there as best I can first. I mean, that's as good as anything. So, all right, so now I am going to just try and prop it up. This is kind of raising it off the ground a little bit, but I don't know. I think this is going to work. Let's do two sides and then the other side, other two sides. So I'm, I am going to get glue all over these wonder clips, but I think, uh, I think that should be that hard to clean. It's just white glue. I'm just trying to push in. I'm assuming I'll be able to release those wonder clips when I'm done. <laughs> oh, it's an experiment. Let's get some more clips in here. What I'm trying to do is just make this a little bit more square. Let's see. This is a good more. And again, this might just be totally silly and not work at all. And hopefully I have enough glue on here still. But I think I I think it'll stay stuck. All right, I think that's kind of all I need. For some reason, I feel like I needed a bunch on this side, but I think we're a bit more square. Yeah, it was kind of bubbling out a little bit, but no, I think this is, this is looking okay. So I am going to put this weight on top still, but let's take a look at this first. Um, I'm going to do this just so it squishes against the glue a little bit more, but I want to see what this is going to look like um, with, the, with the roof on too. So let's get far back here. Oh, I kind of want to see what it looks like with the lights too. So we're going to risk lifting this up, which I know is super stupid because we just 
we just spent all this time doing this, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, uh, see, there you can see the flicker there. And um, this guy will just drop in the top here, so that one will be nice and bright by the, by the clock. Oh, I like that you can see it down here too. And you know, in the dark, you'll be able to see it a lot better. And then this guy, <coughs> excuse me, um, this guy, oh, he is kind of coming apart a little bit. I'm gonna have to find a way to squish this guy shut to add more glue. Or maybe it's fine. That could be the back. All right, let's just put this on there. <laughs> Cute! All right, let's back up a little bit more. <laughs> it's tall! So there, there we are. Again, this is actually a little bit brighter than what it's showing on screen. I like that you just top it off with with this. <laughs> it is so freaking darling. Um, this especially I think is neat. So we can rotate it and you can see through the other lights and stuff too. And these little guys are just darling. So all right, I'm going to take those lights out and then I think we'll just let this sit and uh, glue itself up. But um, I do want to trim everything. So we will do that uh, tomorrow for sure. All right, so I'm gonna just lift that up. That's barely on there. I wonder if there's a way that we could squish these sides in a little bit. You know, if I would have been more patient and then and done this little topper later, but actually, let's just leave it. Okay, so this though, I wanna lift up off. Okay, so there's our first light. You could even put one little light on top if you wanted to. All right, get this guy out. And uh, now I am gonna put just, it's just like my wonder clip thing. It's kind of heavy. I'm gonna throw that on top just to make sure that this is actually squishing down a little bit. All right, and then those clips are pushing it in a little and I think we will just let those sit. So tomorrow we will come back to trim that. Uh, I uh, first of all, I want to show you uh, the next things. I looked at it uh, I looked ahead a little bit. Um, I won't check that one off because we didn't finish it yet. But in the review and share, a few people um, a few people shared their their uh, houses. So I wanted to share with you. So this is by Elspeth. So here is hers at 1, 1 a.m. there. So that's pretty, so that's with the purple. That turned out awfully sweet. Cute little house, and look at her little decorations there. So that's from Elspeth. So there's a review, there's a, a, a shareable spot in here. So, and then this is from Pam. And I just love this. Look at the colors, look at the bright, bright pink on there. I love the bright pink for, um, for the base, so she used purple and, uh, oh, she did a whole pile of it. So she did purple and gray and um, that pink. Oh, and a green door, see, I, I love that. That looks just so darling. <laughs> okay, that is cute, cute, cute. Um, so that's what a few other people have been doing for this. Um, but yeah, so uh, we are gonna just hang out with that for the night. Uh, I think tomorrow what we what might be kind of fun is um, is I have all these scraps here so so let's just get up I keep, I keep moving so I have all my mess everywhere but like I have all these these scraps left of just felt and I also have um, all this felt left too so this is plenty if I wanted to make another design. But what I thought might be kind of fun is we could make some coasters out of these tomorrow because, you know, tomorrow will be done really, really quickly. Um, why don't we cut, like, we could make, like, four by four inch um, coasters. So I'm thinking cutting those. And then we could add, like, all these little pieces to it and um, just kind of like zigzag sew back and forth and kind of make these like little abstract 
coasters um, out of all of, of the scraps, some like textural sort of sort of things here, um, I thought might be kind of fun. Uh, just a fun little thing to do with um, the scraps. And yeah, coasters are the best and they're so, they're nice for gifts. Like you can give uh, someone a bottle of wine and then coasters and you just tie a little bow around them or a little piece of twine. So I think tomorrow let's make a set of four coasters. We could actually make one out of each of the four colors as our base. Then we'll decorate the top and I will get the sewing machine out. And then we'll just like zigzag or maybe we'll even free motion quilt or probably just zigzag because that's what I have on it right now. Just all over it and we'll make like these cute little kind of abstract um, deals out of our the rest of our scraps here. I just, I, I like using up scraps so um, that's, that's my thought. All right, I think we're going to call it a night though tonight so I'm going to flip you guys around. All right, hello. So... Um, I'm afraid to lift this up, so I won't do that tonight. <laughs> uh, so tomorrow, you know, there is that one last step. We will trim off the base. Um, but yeah, let's um, reset up my spot here with the sewing machine. And let's just have fun just uh, plopping stuff down, trying some things out. And I just love that idea of using up stuff. And it's kind of nice to do it you know, as, you know, with all the stuff out here still. So yeah, so we'll cut a bunch of um, felt. We might have enough scraps to do like two sets of these. I could find two two sets of people to give camp coasters to, I'm thinking. <laughs> maybe we'll even do a set as a giveaway here. That would be kind of fun. Um, so uh, maybe we'll do that. Use up all these things. So that'll be tomorrow. Just quick and easy. That would be, you know, if you're looking for holiday gifts, this would be a quick and easy thing to do, especially with like all your little scraps laying around. Um, so awesome, you guys. Thank you again for joining me here uh, tonight. Uh, and I will get this up on YouTube at Penguin and, and Fish Movie so you can watch it, uh, just how we did our finishing things here tonight. Um, yes, we could make some pins. We'll just do all things scrappy um, tomorrow with these scraps. Yeah, pin, like a, we could do like a cute little owl pin or something. We'll do something. I'm, I'm excited to just play around with felt tomorrow. That'll be good. All right, you guys. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of your evening. Good night.